all doing today? Well, I got a few things to talk about today. <clears throat> Excuse me. Pardon that. But before I get into too many topics today, I got something I want to show y'all. Baby's first picture. I'm going to be a dad. Um, but before we get into too many of the topics, why don't we throw a dip in the lip, shall we? For all you dippers out there, why don't you all join me? Dipping on some Copenhagen wintergreen today. Can lids kind of popped up. Mm. Ah, smells like Christmas. Think that's big enough, dip? <laughs> nah, I ain't putting that big a one in. Screw that. There we go. Okay. Now, topics of today are kind of deal with problems in America at this point in time and kind of a little bit with the government. Um, first of all, the SAFE Act. The act that they want to create to destroy our Second Amendment. And if y'all don't, if for all of you that don't know what the Second Amendment is, it's the right to keep and bear arms. The government wants to get rid of that. And I disagree with it. Because guns don't kill people. People kill people with guns. My dig of the day is all I've grabbed, by the way. Now, uh, that's the first topic. Second one is deals more with the government directly and about what they're doing wrong. Third is deals with, uh, I guess third kind of goes with second to our boys overseas. that are fighting for our rights and our freedom and the American way of life. I guess that kind of intertwines with number two. But number one, the SAFE Act, like I said earlier, tries to devol demolish our Second Amendment because the government believes that guns kill people. Bullshit. I have never seen a gun get up and shoot somebody. In my 20 years of life, I've never seen that happen. Now, I've seen on the news and shit where somebody shot someone else. But that ain't the gun's fault. The gun didn't tell that person to shoot that person. It was their own mind that did it, not the gun. So for all of you right-wing nut jobs out there that think that guns are bad and that guns destroy society and all of this other political bullshit, you're wrong. And now what about if this act does go through, what about the people that use guns to provide for their families, to put food on the table? The hunters, the ones that go out and kill the animals to provide for their family. What is going to happen to them? Mainly the people up in Alaska. What about them? They aren't going to be able to do that anymore if this SAFE Act goes through. I 
I think it's just a load of shit that they're trying to do this to us and take away our God-given rights that pro were provided for us and for us to keep us safe. So I want to know what y'all's opinion is on this what you all think of this and whether you agree with it or disagree with it leave me comments in the comment this section below um, and I will try my damnedest to respond to all your comments if you have any questions or concerns um, and if I don't know an answer I will research it and I will find the answer for you. Now for number two. The full on government. The people that are trying to control us with fear. They're assholes. They're right wing nut job that are a bunch of retarded know it alls that are trying to destroy our way of life. I don't think it's right. Do you? And for you, Mr. Barack Hussein Obama, two things, or three or four, or however many I come up with. One, get the hell out. No one likes you. Everything you said you're going to do for this country, in the last six years you've been in office, you haven't done a damn one of them. Two, your last name, Obama, stands for one thing. One big-ass mistake, America. I feel strongly on this. People need to realize the mistake that they made for voting for that asshole. I don't like him. I didn't vote for him. Number three, our troops overseas, our boys, our men and women that are fighting for our rights, our freedom, and the American way of life. Bring them home. You say, and you keep saying, you're going to bring them home. But yet you're sending over another 2,000 troops. What the hell are you doing? You need to pull your head out of your ass and get to your, your correct job and do your job right. We could vote a monkey in there and he'd do better than you ever did. We could put a monkey in there to do your job and in one year he could do more than you have ever done. Whether it be your six years in office or your whole fucking life. I've took shits that have had more knowledge and more brains than you have. And I flushed him down the toilet. I don't like you. Majority of America don't like you. So why don't you just do us all a favor and get the hell out. Put somebody in that knows what they're doing and is that is going to do this country some good. And for the rest of you in government, the ones that aren't in the big desk, in the big fluffy White House. Or should I say, Black House now. You're stealing from us, from the American people. We work hard for our money. And what do you do? Sit on your ass and steal from us with taxes. And you don't give hardly anything back to us. What, $4,000? Wow. That's a whole hell of a nothing lot. For all 
of you in government that are making millions a year off of the American people and the hardworking people of this country. Get a clue and get a real job. Why don't we take a couple years and let this country run itself? Get rid of government completely. Now, I'm not saying get rid of the laws. Keep the laws. But get rid of the government. Taxes. All of the bullshit that the government is trying to put on us. Get rid of it all. And let this country run itself. I guarantee we do a hell of a lot better than we're doing now. And for all of you that don't know, the government is sending us into a second depression. In the modern age, there are people out there that can barely afford their bills. They're living paycheck to paycheck with barely enough money to feed their families. It makes me sad that there are people out there like that that are assholes, that are, that steal from the American people. It just, it breaks my heart. So I say, get rid of the government for a couple of years. See what happens. Who knows? It may work, it might not. You never know. You don't know until you try. So, I want to know your position on that as well. Do you think we should get rid of government for a couple of years and let this country run itself? I think so. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you agree with me or you disagree with me. And if all you're going to do is tell me that I'm a worthless piece of shit, Stop watching this video now because I'm not here to preach. I'm not here to do anything of that nature. I'm here to give facts about everything that goes on with this country, about all the bullshit. And I'm going to start doing this a little bit in each video, talking about shit like that and giving you updates on shit. Another thing deals with topic one that I talked about, the SAFE Act. I watched a video on YouTube about a guy that completely slams it and disproves it in about three minutes. And if you all want to watch that video as well, I'll leave a link to my Facebook page in the description below. And I'm not sure if you'd be able to watch it or not. And if you can't, Send me a friend request and a message telling me you watch my videos and that you'd like to watch the video that I just spoke of. And I will accept your friend request so you can watch it. I don't know if you do need a friend request, if you need to be my friend to watch it. I don't know how my settings are set up. So go check it out. I'll leave a link to my Facebook in the description bar below. So, I don't know. Just give me your positions on what I have talked about so far. And I will try to get back to you. I'll either comment back to you or I will. I actually might make a reading comments videos that uh, comment video that way you guys can get a result or get a feedback or get an answer to a question that you might have if, uh, any questions you have if I can't if I don't have the answer I'll look it up I'll research it I'll find a, an answer the answer or a answer for that question um, 
I have been dealing a lot more in politics these days because it's something that I feel strongly about that we're getting royally fucked in the ass by the U.S. government. So if you have any questions regarding the topics I have spoke of today in this video, then feel free to ask. It don't, it don't bother me. I'll answer them the best I can. And if I can't answer them, I'll let you know. And then if I can't, I'm sorry. So just leave me comments. Like this video. Give it a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel. Thank you all for watching. For all of you who did watch the entire video, thank you. And I will make another video in a week to a couple weeks. Alrighty. Keep packing fatties and sit spitting black. Stay redneck.